Today we're going to take a look at how do you determine if a relationship is linear. Here are the three things that make an equation nonlinear. Number one, exponents other than one attached to the variable. For example, y is equal to x squared. Number two, x is in the denominator. Example, y is equal to three divided x. x is in your denominator. Number three, x and y are multiplied together. Example, x times y is equal to 10. So here's an example of a linear equation. y is equal to 2x plus 5 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. We're going to discuss this later on. How do you determine if a table represents a linear or nonlinear relationship? So we are going to first take a look at your x values. We're going to look at how much they are increasing or decreasing by. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that tells us that x is increasing by 1. Now let's take a look at the y values. We have 8, 11, 14, and 17. From 8 to 11, we know that we are adding 3. 11 to 14, we are adding 3. So what can we say about this relationship? Is it linear or nonlinear? We would look at the x and the y values, and we can simply say as x increases by 1, my y is increasing by 3. So we can safely say this is a linear relationship. If your x and your y values are increasing, constant rate of change, we say it's linear. Let's take a look at number two. Let's look at the x value. I have one, two, three, and four. So from one to two, two to three, and three to four, we can say that x is increasing by one. Let's take a look at the y values. 10 to eight, eight to four, four to two. So we can say from 10 to eight, this value is decreasing by two. From 8 to 4, it's decreasing by 4, and then from 4 to 2, it's decreasing by 2. So let's take a look at x and y. So x, I can see there's a constant rate of change. It's increasing by 1. What exactly is happening to y? Negative 2, negative 4, negative 2. So I do not have a constant rate of change. So we can say that this table is nonlinear. As x increases by 1, y does not have a constant rate of change. So we can say it's nonlinear. How do you determine if a relationship is linear? Given a graph, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to draw an example of a linear function. So that linear function, I want you to keep in mind, linear means line. So we are just going to create a line. Explain why this function is linear. It's linear because it's a straight line. Now we're going to draw an example of a nonlinear function. Nonlinear, if linear is line, nonlinear means it's not going to create a line. So this is what it's going to look like. Why is this nonlinear? The line is curved. So you can tell the difference between linear, you're going to have a straight line. Nonlinear is going to give you a curved line. Hope that makes sense. Let's take a look at. How do you determine if a relationship is linear given a table? So the first thing we want to do is look at the x and the y values. So our x is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's look at what's going on with the x. So from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. So we can say that x is increasing by 1. Let's look at the y value. We start off at positive 5, so we have negative 3. So we know it's not increasing, it's decreasing. So let's see what that entails. So 5 to 3, 3 to 1, 1 to negative 1, negative 1, negative 3. So our y value is decreasing by 2. So let's explain. As your x value increases by 1, your y value decreases by 2. So we can say this is linear. It has a constant rate of change. Don't get confused because your x is increasing and your y is decreasing. As long as you have a constant rate of change, 
it is a linear relationship. Let's take a look at the second table. Our x values 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 8. We can say that our x value is increasing by 1. Let's take a look at the y value. 8, 11, 14, 17, 21. Remember, you always want to double check that all of your values are increasing or decreasing by the same number. So from 8 to 11, we know that is increasing by 3. 11 to 14 by 3. 14 to 17 by 3. And 17 to 21 is increasing by 4. So let's explain. So your x value is increasing by 1, but your y value is not constant. It's not a constant rate of change. Remember, in order for it to be linear, your x and your y values must increase or decrease at a constant rate of change. So this is not the case, so we can say it's nonlinear. Hope that makes sense. Now let's take a look at relationship is linear given an equation. But before we do that, remember, there are three important factors that we need to remember. We discussed earlier what it looks like as nonlinear. When we're looking at a linear equation, here are the three important factors that you need to remember. First off, cannot have an exponent greater than 1. x cannot be in that denominator. And your x and your y cannot be multiplied. So let's practice. So number one, y is equal to 3x minus 2. Does that fit all of the three factors? So one, cannot have an exponent greater than one. I see my exponent is one. x cannot be in the denominator. My x is not in the denominator. And lastly, x and y being multiplied. That is not the case. So what can you say about number one? This equation is linear. Number two, y is equal to three. Divided by x plus 1, 1. Cannot have an exponent greater than 1. My exponent there is 1. x cannot be in the denominator. Oops, there is x in your denominator. So we can safely say that this is nonlinear. Number 3. y is 1 half x plus 2. Cannot have an exponent greater than 1. My exponent is 1. x cannot be in the denominator. It's not. And my x and my y cannot be multiplied. That's not the case. So therefore, this is linear. Lastly, y is equal to 2x squared plus 1. 1 cannot have an exponent greater than 1. Hmm, my exponent is 2. So we can safely say that this is nonlinear. Hope that makes sense. It's your turn to practice. So you are going to create your own table. The first table you are going to make it linear and the second table you would make that nonlinear. So make sure you explain your reasoning and we would discuss in class. Remember, you can always pause, rewind, rewatch as many times as you like.